Hello everyone, it's your boy Jermaine back with another video and today we are going to explore the hate. We're gonna go all the way down hate. This is where hate begins here at the park and hate ends at hate ends at Market Street. We're gonna go all the way down. We'll see lots of things along the way. And just another day, another adventure. Let's cross the street. This used to be a McDonald's here. And then it closed and it became a, um, a pretty much a refugee camp. And then now it's all cleared out. Not a refugee camp, but, you know, during the pandemic, we had a lot of um, people camping in certain places in the city, and that was a designated camp location. Wow, this is a freaking music store. Like, uh, a literal music store, yo. Like, with, with CDs inside. Like, it's still around, insane. Like, that's freaking awesome. So here we have it, have Head Ashbury. Oh wow, that place is freaking massive, yo. Holy moly, I'm not gonna go inside, but that place is enormous. It's almost like the size of a Costco. I mean, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but no joke. It's massive in there. And that is a record store and CD store. Dang, people still listen to records and CDs? And over here we got tons of little random bars. Oh, there's a bike shop. Hmm, oh, I've never been to that bike shop. I've never noticed that bike shop before. San Francisco Bicycle Rentals. Oh, they, they rent bikes. It's a, for tourists. Now, another thing about Haight-Ashbury, Haight-Ashbury is very, very known for nightlife, skateboarding, uh, smoking. <laughs> Lots of smoke shops here. Lots of smoke shops in the Haight-Ashbury. I mean, they literally got every sort of piece you want. Look at this little cool little place. It's like a little hookah bar inside. That looks very unique. Now, right now, a hookah bar wouldn't necessarily be busy. It wouldn't be popping off because I'm filming this in the middle of the day. Let's see what time it is. So I'm filming this on, uh, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. So this won't be the busiest day. Ooh, check out this car, is this the Batmobile? Oh, it is the Batmobile, no joke. Welcome to the hate, yo. It is plenty of hills around here, I tell you. This neighborhood is, for the most part, it's pretty flat. Oh, it looks like there's another bike shop over there. Wow, that, no, that bike shop is, is definitely new. I don't remember this one being here. Looks like they got like all sorts of bikes and scooters and let's go check it out real fast. Oh, that's not bad. $40 a day for a regular hybrid bike and then $68 for an e-bike. And they got trailers, rollerblades. Yeah, they got everything. Aluminum bikes, tantrum bikes, tag along map lock helmet man this place got the works yo look at this it's pretty chill let's uh actually we can stay on this side of the street we want to i love these old school buildings here Check out this part that it got like tagged up. <laughs> I love it. This neighborhood is uh, it's very different. It's so much more relaxed and so much more chilled out than downtown. Downtown can be a little uptight, but here this is little hippieville, yo. You know, it's just like I said, smoke shops everywhere. This shop got everything: alcohol, wine. They probably got cookies in there, yo. 
And then up here is is the actual cookie store. Um, I know some people know know about cookies, and I'm not talking about chocolate chip cookies. I'm talking about other cookies. There's another cookie store right up here. The streets here in the hate. Classic San Francisco building right there. It's a good world over here. I actually, I want to go in there and look. I'm not going to go in, but they probably got some good stuff in there. Now, over here is cookies. This is a very, very, very popular um, dispensary. For those familiar with what a dispensary is, it's very, very popular here. It's always lines out, even on the middle of the, middle of the day on a Tuesday, there's a line out. Check out this blue building right here behind the bus. Check out this building with them long windows up there. Interesting. Love the architect here. Check out this Bronco. That looks very new and sophisticated. I haven't seen one of those. Whenever I think of Bronco, I think of OJ. The red Victorian. I'm like loving these buildings, yo. Loving this building. Not bad. Bronco is a whole lot smaller too. I remember back back in the day, a Bronco was big, but that one's that's a small one, you know. Definitely not something I need living in the city, you know. The last thing I need is a freaking is a car, you know. Something else to worry about. I wonder what what was this. That's one tricky thing about walking on these streets. Like, what side of the street do you walk on? Do you walk on this side or do you walk on on, on this side? Another place, these shops are very, very popular here. These are um, like consignment type stores. There's a ton of these consignment type stores in the city. One of my favorite ones, or well, in this, uh, on Haight-Ashbury, there's even more. One of my favorite ones was Crossroads It Closed. I see this like Gucci shirt right here on the corner. I wonder how much is it? But I'm feeling I walk into it, so I'm not gonna go in and look at it. Lots of music on the street. For time and sickness and in health. Usually you would hear more people singing on the street. I don't I don't know. Maybe a little bit later in the afternoon you hear more people out.
once again more more smoke shops i think we passed my favorite one it was um i think it was probably something blocking like a, a bus or something but hey, it, my favorite one is like off like off um it's on a side street I, I bet i bet that's a pretty happening bar around here and it's a quiet bar too like they're not you know they're not cranking the music really loud that's probably one of them places you can just go and get wasted at you know let the time go by what is this place oh it's the buffalo exchange here's another one another consignment place I forget the name of this one head over lots of you know i don't think everything in here is second hand i think some of the stuff is actually new some of the stuff may be um actually handmade and stuff like that you just have to just just see whenever you go in and look it's another consignment place no this is not a consignment no not every place I, I, that's not that, that's an actual new place sorry i got it wrong i think this used to be crossroads up here i used to love crossroads back in the day but it seemed like as soon as i moved to the city i saw i kind of stopped going there because in santa barbara going to crossroads was like a whole different experience versus going to crossroads in the city going to crossroads in the city everything's picked over basically like it, if, if something goes there like there's so many people like looking for the same things that it's just kind of hard to find you know it's, it's just kind of hard to it's kind of hard to duplicate the same success i had in santa barbara put it like that you see a lot of people here on the street with um like i don't want to say everybody's homeless here because there's a lot of people that are literally traveling through well you see a lot of crazy stuff you see you know people smoking their bongs on the street you know you see you see dog fights you see you see fights you know you see drug deals i mean you just see it all in this neighborhood you know i don't necessarily see um you know, in, in Soma, I don't necessarily see people, you know, walking down the street with a bong in their hand, you know. I, don't put it past me, you know. But around here, I've, de I've definitely seen that more than one time, like over and over and over and over and over. This is, a re this is another really, really good head shop here. Well, I think it's world famous. Yeah, this is a good one. I don't know if it's world famous. I think they just, they're just calling it world famous. Here's Vegberg. This is a um, vegan restaurant from Singapore. Really, really good. I see they painted their colors all, all colorful. Yeah. I don't know. That, that might be really good for this neighborhood, you know? That might be a, a positive. But this is not exactly the... I mean, from what I hear, I mean, from what I know, this is not exactly the, the gay area. The gay area is more of the Castro. This is more of, um, it's more of the hippie area. Like kind of what i would call it so i don't know the rainbow kind of it kind of throws me off a little bit but maybe it's just a bay area thing i i don't know maybe they're really trying hard i take it they got a lot of money because they're from singapore and they survived through the pandemic no problem you know so i think they got deep pockets i mean some of these places just went through the pandemic without skipping a beat at all which is kind of amazing to see and then you know some places just it, it, as soon as things close that was the end for them you know it's kind of interesting to kind of see how it play out this is cookies again but this is cookies the gift shop well i don't know if it's a gift shop but it's the apparel store so like they got the backpacks they got all sorts of backpacks up in here y'all you know um rolling trays clothes wear clothes apparel so I should say, oh, look at all these different backpacks they got. Look at them red cookie jackets over there. They got all kinds of stuff. And over here they got the black because you gotta have a red and you gotta have a black, you know. So over here they got the black if you're not down with the red, you know, because some folks don't like red. But some people don't like black, you know, so that's kind of how it goes. Okay, so here we have Masonic. Now I saw, in, I read in the comments, someone wanted me to do Haight-Ashbury, but they wanted me to do from Masonic 
to Stanion or Stanion to Masonic. E either way, it's kind of the same. And I told them I would, but I also wanted to do a little bit more than just than just you know um, Masonic to Stanion. We'll take this all the way down to Market. So we got about 14 blocks to go. Um, like but for the, oh, thanks. What's up? Um, but for the most part, they're 14 short blocks. But there's it's still 14 blocks. I forget what this place used to be. This place here on the corner. I think it was a clothing store. But it's in this like really, really cool looking building. Like look at that window up there. I would love to have that as my window. You're, you're looking out, you open your window. You're looking out and you see this, you know? Who? Cool. All right, let's continue. We have 14 more to go. And my feet are starting to hurt. <laughs> no, I'm joking, my feet never hurt. <laughs> I have the bus stop here. Tons, tons of people waiting for the bus. Oh, check out this place. This name is uh, Pipe Dreams. Yeah, smoke shop. That's a good one, y'all. You can get your, get your pipe dreams on up in there. Now for the next, I want to say the next five blocks, six blocks, it's gonna kind of, it's gonna kind of look like this. Not as much, not as many people walking. This is the last block of businesses for the next few blocks. Now the part of hate that we just walk by. Most people just call that hate the hate area, hate street, right? But if we continue going this way, this is more of what people would call lower hate. So as we go farther up. Looks like someone did not clean up after their dog. So that uh, this guy over here is trying to clean his dog poo up. a really good place to park if you can find a parking spot because this is not two hour parking if you look close to this is um you just have to move from um you can't park here from 7 a.m through 11 a.m so basically you can kind of get away with parking here for like a couple days if you really wanted to Lots of um, lots of campers on the street. I'm just gonna cross. But sometimes when if they see you walking with a camera, they'll they'll get really upset. Even if you're not pointing it at them, you know, they'll just. I think it's just a good idea to just cross the street. You know, this. Um, I don't mean to spread any hate or anything, but this city is getting bad, guys. So I'm gonna try to avoid, you know, situations. Because I've had people yell at me, and I'm just like, bro, like you, you're literally making a scene, you know. If if you just, if I would have just walked by you, it would have been cool. But like you, you're like tripping out, you know. But just remember this, everyone, you can't help everyone. You you just can't help everyone. Everyone don't want to be helped, and sometimes you can lead a person to the well, but you can't make them drink the water. So there you have it. Anyway, across the, across the street we're over here, we got this park. Yeah, this is um, it's a park with uh, lots of grass, lots of greenery. I have to go take you guys to this park someday. This is actually a really, really nice park. 
That is old school San Francisco building. With a bus driving by. Cause it wouldn't be SF without a bus or a trolley or, or Market Street, right? <laughs> Now living on Hate Street, living on Hate Street would, would, would kind of be kind of chill. A couple things you want to watch out for is the corners, you know, because like if you live on a corner, if you live near a corner, you have like cars honking and stuff like that because you have, you know, traffic and, you know, people making left turns, right turns. So the, I, one thing I figured out just living in the city, corners can be a little bit more noisier than a regular street. And then also, if a street has a bus line, it's gonna be more, it's gonna be louder. It's gonna be more traffic. There's always gonna be a bus, you know? So if you live by a bus stop, like this is a bus stop, and these people live right here, well realize like, that bus stop is always gonna be there, you know? But I don't know, you see a person might end up moving in a place like here for a number of reasons. Maybe, you know, they're looking and that's the only thing they found available. So they're like, they moved in and then 10 years later, they still live there. That's why it's really important when you're looking for a place to stay, you, you make sure you find something that you really like and you make sure you find something that works because usually people will stay at a particular place for a long time, you know, a long time. And if it, if it, you know, if you, if you just move there and you're dealing with like buses and garbage trucks in the middle of the night, you're probably always gonna deal with that if you continue to stay there, so. That's just a rule of thumb. Or you guys can just um, move all the time and then that makes everything great too. Cause now you don't fall a victim of the whole rent control scam. And you know, I don't think rent control is just a scam, but I think it, it puts a lot of people in really horrible situations where like they, they, they feel forced to stay there forever, you know? I don't know, I don't really want to get into the rent control drama, like especially with people, especially in a San Francisco video. Rent control is great, it's the savior. Pray for rent control. Yeah, but anyway, check out this building here. It almost looks like an old school church, you know? And I like the one next to it. It's all, it, I wonder how old the one is next to it. It looks like it's updated, but then it also looks like it could be new or a whole lot newer. Or maybe it just has a newer looking facade and it's just old as crap. It's just old as crap. We are approaching Embarcadero. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. Divisadero. <laughs> I said Embarcadero. Divisadero. So Divisadero is the same street that turns into the Castro. And it's like Diviz for one part of the city. It's Castro for the other part of the city. Look at y'all San Francisco style houses right there. Duplex. So one level's 
one person, the other level is the other person. And these are just really popular. People love these. Oh, this style. It's, that, it's the duplex, you know. Same thing. Will I make it? Maybe. Looks like I will. Oh! Marty's yelling at me back there. Wow, oh, okay, so we have the vids just in a hurry trying to cross the street. I like the lighting. Now we don't have all this harsh sun everywhere. Let's continue to go down. This is a cool one too. I think this is just one house. And right when I pointed the camera, someone looked out the window. <laughs> yeah, some of these are one, but majority of these are not one, not in this neighborhood. You know, there's definitely neighborhoods you, you would you go to and it is, uh, it's all like, you know, one house, but around here you got a lot of duplexes. I like the green one. Really cool places. All right, let's keep walking. We still got a whole bunch of blocks to go. Let's change positions. Uh, Sometimes it feels like people are following me and then sometimes it feels like I'm walking and people are like walking really slow and I'm like, I'm just trying to get away from you so I can just talk normally. And it's like, stop trying to eavesdrop. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not accusing anyone of eavesdropping, but th this definitely happens I, a lot. Especially I've noticed, I noticed if I'm in the city, yo, and if I'm like sitting somewhere, I'm sitting somewhere and I'm on the phone, it, it always feels like, Dang, did everyone just get quiet because I'm on the phone? Like, I don't know. It's random, but that's just one thing I've noticed. Oh, check out this business. Oh, this building. Not business. Building. Need a scooter?
Okay, I really want to cross the street, so I'm just going to stop for like a minute here. Cool. I guess I can't stop. Okay, great. There's a um, sports bar that's pretty popular in the city. Well, not in the city, but it's pretty pretty happening on Hate Street, Lower Hate. As of now, this area here is pretty much called Lower Hate. The area up there, like I say, I think that's just called, it's pretty much called like Hate, Hate Ashbury. I never really heard of anyone saying anything else. I never heard anyone say High Hate or Upper Hate or something like that. I always hear people just call it hate, and this is the lower hate. So I guess if you say, yo, I'm in, I'm in the hate, I guess that kind of refers to farther up hate. And I guess if you say, yo, I'm in lower hate, it sort of refers to down here, lower hate. Wow, look at this house. That brown one. Oh, then the one next to it too is kind of, kind of, kind of interesting too. And now we got a bus. Seems like every time I point the camera this way, we got a bus. <laughs> I remember this place used to be, um, it was a bar for a short amount of time. It was named Maven. I remember because I used to run a car from this place called Maven. And then these people opened up a restaurant called Maven. But yeah, now it's just some artwork, right? This over here is, um, once again, for the vegan police watching, I don't really care what you say, but majority of the world is not eating a vegan diet. Um, but this right here is, um, I would definitely not eat at this restaurant, but I'm just pointing it out because it's, it's, it's a Memphis restaurant. So it's, uh, 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 they sell like uh, ribs and stuff like that. Very, very, very unhealthy stuff, you know? But if you are looking for some southern food, yeah, that, that's a place that you would, you would probably want to go to. Um, but like I say, not the not the healthiest thing that not the healthy not the healthiest thing that you would find out here. You know, you probably find some you might might be able to find some catfish there. You might be able to find some some ribs, some pork, some you know coleslaw, you know stuff like that. Look at that place. This is this is reminding me I need to go to the mission district next to show y'all what the mission district is looking like right now. The mission district's still beeping. It's still got a pulse. It's not dead. Actually, I, I wanna say like once you get away from downtown, downtown is where downtown is where things got hit the worst. If you leave downtown and Soma and you go to other parts of the city, it won't look the same. Oh wow, well, they got the New York style fruits and vegetables out on the street. Yeah, once you get out of downtown, the things look a whole lot different. But don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of vacancies. Like there's still, you know, places here and there that have closed down. There has still, you got some hills. This is like a real good skate spot actually, if you're bold enough to like ride some of these hills. You know, I hear someone coming on a skateboard right now. Where did they go? You know, I noticed like once you get out of downtown, you don't see as many marijuana dispensaries. 
And here's one here. This is another dispensary here. Cannabis dispensary. Like I say, you just don't see a lot of them after you leave downtown. You know, along this whole street, we've only passed by two, and that's it. And this is like a, a really big smoking street. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, when we go to the Mission District, it'll be the same. You'll see a few, but you'll also see a lot of smoke shops there. But then the Mission District is, is such a big neighborhood, actually. It's a very, very vast neighborhood. Look at that artwork over there. Look at that classic car too. A Malibu. Looking clean. Not much to see around here. It's just some houses. Over here, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know for sure, but this looks like public housing. It's just it's just got that low budget look to it. I mean, I'm not trying to talk about anyone if you live there, but it it's just certain characteristics that that the low, low income housing has. They don't call, my mistake. I don't mean to call it low income housing, below market housing. Um, it just it just looks it got a certain look to it, and I think that's. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Someone can correct me in the comments. Wow, this is, uh, what street is this? I used to live on this street. I forgot the name though. Um, <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, this is uh, B Buchanan Street. Yeah, it was a short time. Yes. <laughs> All the places I've lived in in the city. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought that was um, someone I knew. Okay, now it's all downhill for a minute. So we're pretty much at the, we're getting close. This is the 200 block. It's 228. So we got about two blocks left after this one. And we done, we'll be back at, back at Market Street. What is that? Now along Hate Street, the changes that maybe you're watching this video, maybe you used to live here 10 years ago, maybe you used to live here 20 years ago. And maybe when you when you used to live here, maybe you used to live in that house right there on the corner, right? Well, they've changed a lot to hate. Yeah, go, go, go. They've 
changed a lot to hate before this was a two-lane street going down and they made this muni only and even it started up here so they made it muni only and what would happen you would have all this traffic come this way to, to get on the freeway right and with all the traffic trying to get on the freeway when it's busy what would happen is you would get it was slow down the buses right so since it was slowing down the buses they um just had an idea to make this bus only so once i made this bus only the bus can go freely down and then all the cars have to be on this side but then they also made it more difficult like they they just they change a lot around here maybe i have to walk around and do a walk into it but they made it way more difficult to come this way to get on to get on the freeway because that's what people would do instead of taking instead of taking fell street maybe you would like turn down buchanan off of fell and then you would come this way and it would be like faster well they kind of figured out a way to stop people from doing that with, with it putting this bus line here because at with this bus line here you're going to be waiting so long just to turn left that it's not worth it you know because before what people would do is just it would be cars in this line trying to turn trying to turn right or oh, um, I meant right it would be cars in this lane trying to turn right and then cars would get into the lane that's the bus line now and then they would get way up here and then get over and it would just make the traffic a mess so they figured out a way to fix that you know I mean, today I'm not today's not the busiest day in the city so it's not the best example to see how their new how their new um, system is, is working. And now, welcome to Octavia Street, aka the freeway. Wow, look at this coffee shop. Pretty interesting. It's that hour where the, the kids have just got out of school. I see lots of uh, young people out. There's a school not too far away from here. Now before you could take your car and drive it all the way down here and now this is all like bustling. You're not supposed to drive your car down here. This is Muni only. That doesn't stop people from doing it. You know? They haven't updated the sign. The sign says this is only, so it's telling the car is only to go this way except Muni because the bus goes straight. It goes like here. And it goes up straight and it goes down market. So if you're watching this from the city, y'all gotta update that sign. Because like cars are not supposed to be on the street, right? I don't know. I I'm just being random here. I'm not trying to snitch on anybody. So anyway guys, we are at Market. This is Market Street and Goff Street and Hate Street. And this is where it all begins. Right here, right now, this is where it's at. This is all where it begins but for right now with us this is all where it ends yo so anyway i'm gonna wrap this video up thanks a lot for watching yo because this is where it all ends yo market hate and golf street market hate and golf street market hate and golf street this is where it all ends all right i'm out like comment subscribe thanks a lot for watching peace out yo